Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing, man? It's Anelli here. Today, we're looking at Vlad Guerrero Jr. We're going to look at his... Um, Work before the game in the batting cage, getting ready to go out and hit BP, and then we're going to look at his actual batting practice. Now, I've had a lot of people uh, asking me questions, sending me videos, asking my opinion on you know, his work, his preparation, and then my general thought on batting practice, what we should be working on. And so we're going to get into all of that right now. Okay, so... First couple of things, when you watch Vlad right here, Vlad Jr., when you watch him, um, the first thing you're going to notice is before the game here in the cage, doing front toss, and he's really working on hitting everything to the right, to, to right center to the middle of the field, right? So he's not pulling anything, okay? And I think a couple of things. You're going to, first, you're going to see a lot of major leaguers do this. Okay, so if you go and watch hitters hit off the tee or hit flips before the game, you're going to see most guys driving the ball to right center field or at least back up the middle. All right, so the first thing they're trying to do is they're just they're letting the ball travel. They want to see the ball deep, see it for a long time. But even more important than that, I think to be able to hit a ball hard the other way, right? He's not just pushing the ball to right field or to right center. He's driving it, and when you drive the ball that way you've got to be able you got to do a lot of things with your swing a lot of positive things right you've got to get the barrel in the zone early you got to get behind the ball really really early um and i think that's really really important for for every hitter right and it's important not just to be able to hit the ball the other way but you're going to do the same thing when you're pulling the ball be able to get the ball barrel behind the ball early and drive it and so again to be able to do that in the cage to feel the barrel working behind the ball, to have really good direction, have your barrel moving, you know, covering the entire plate, again, is really, really important. And so could he just sit there and just launch balls to left center field over and over again here? Yeah, he, I mean, he easily could, right? He could just hit cage bomb after cage bomb after cage bomb. But he's setting himself up to, again, feel a deep barrel path, to feel good direction, to stay on the ball. And now he can go to batting practice on the field. Okay, so now here's batting practice on the field, and you can see the first couple balls. He's kind of doing the same thing. So he's kind of getting loose, letting the ball travel, feeling his path, his path be, you know, have really good direction, covering the entire plate, seeing the ball deep, getting the barrel behind the ball early, okay? there one, That one right there rolls over a little bit, okay? Now second round. So now you're going to see him start to kind of let things loose a little bit more, right? So that ball, it's just an absolute rocket to the middle of the field or to left center. And so you'll see this again with most major league guys. They're going to start to right center. Here's an absolute laser beam to right center. They're going to start to right center, and then they're going to slowly work their way back to the pull side. Now this ball... <laughs> That ball is absolutely destroyed. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing watching his power. The crazy thing about him is, you know, when he hits the ball well, you know, like that, there's a laser beam out of the park. When he hits the ball, like, okay, like that, right? I mean, that's hit well, but, like, <laughs> it's just a low-line drive. It goes out of the park. Like, when he miss hits balls, they, like, short-hop the fence. Like that ball right there, like that's hit. That's a that's a rocket that takes the left field's head off. He didn't even hit that ball anywhere close to well. So his power is just ridiculous, right? And then he's going to get into a ball here, and he's going to hit it 900 feet, like breaking parts of the stadium. But again, this is what you're going to kind of see: starting away, working his way to the pull side. He knows he's got ridiculous power. Right, I think it shows maturity on the hitter's part also to not just be like, okay, I'm just going to put on a show. Because you know most people just want to, you know, most people that are there early just want to watch him hit the ball a, a thousand feet. But I play with, you know, some really good players. Adrian Gonzalez comes to mind. When I play with Adrian Gonzalez, he would, he would just absolutely pepper the opposite field gap 
for the first round or two. And he had the power. I mean, he could hit the ball out of the ballpark to right center fit. He could pull it easily and just cry. I mean, he could hit 450 foot ball after 450 foot ball. He had ridiculous power. But he was really disciplined. He really felt the barrel in the zone early. Again, good direction. Driving balls to left center field. Line drive after line drive after line drive. And then usually as he got later, he'd start pulling the ball a little bit more. And then, you know, I remember like last round sometimes he'd be like, hey, you know, let's see how many home runs I can hit. And then he would just start destroying balls to right center. But part of being a good hitter, again, is... Being able to to drive a ball to the opposite field, but then again, also being able to pull a ball. So the most, I mean, the most valuable ball right now in the big leagues is is a pulled ball in the air, right? I mean, if you can pull the ball in the air and you've got power and you can hit for power and hit home runs, I mean, you're going to get paid millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. So do you want to work on that? Yeah, absolutely. You've got to be able to pull the ball in the air with good spin, and that's a skill. But... um You've got to also be able to practice some other parts of your game. You've got to be able to hit a ball when the ball's pitched away. Be able to hit it where it's pitched. Pitched away, be able to drive it to right center field as a righty. If it's pitched in, be able to pull a ball. But a deep barrel path, like I said earlier, if you can have good direction, if you can drive a ball to the opposite field, right? If you can drive it like he was doing in the cage underneath and then some of his early swings, if you can do that, well, then you've got a swing that's going to work on pretty much any pitch, right? I'm in the zone early. I've got good direction. You have those two good, those two things working for you. Well, then you can drive a ball to right center field if it's away. And if it's in, you should be able to get behind the ball. You should be able to drive it to left center field. So make sure we're working on everything. Make sure that we're working on driving the ball the other way and getting in the zone early, but also work on pulling the ball. Because like I said, it's really valuable to be able to pull a ball in the air, um, not a lot of guys can do it. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions. Give it a thumbs up. Share with all your friends all that good stuff. And we'll talk to you later.